Hey guys, what's up? This is Steve. Today we're here uh, at Fort Totten and we're going to take a look at a common issue that comes up when you're shooting scenes um, where we have a wide shot and we want to add a back edge to our subject, but we don't have the room to put the stand in because you'd see it in the shot. So to fix this, we're going to add in what's called a menace arm. And I'm going to show you how to build it, how to put it together and go over some tips and things to avoid. So let's do it. We have a six foot piece of speed rail and a four foot piece of speed rail. And we're gonna join them together with this quick coupler. This is our menace arm kit. We'll go on top of our combo stand and create a fulcrum on which we can reach out. And then you can have either two baby pins on one end or two 2K receiver pins on the other. This is what we're gonna to use to put our fixture on today. We're gonna to couple these together with this speed coupler. You could use black steel pipe or you could use aluminum speed rail in the distance you want. So I'm gonna join these together. Whenever we put this up on the stand, the combo stand is gonna go right here. So most of our reach, our long piece of the pipe is gonna be out there. We're gonna put the fixture on that end. They're gonna bring in the center point. And Hamilton's gonna put on the baby pin on that end. And I'm gonna put the 2K receiver on the other end. The top part has a ring on it, a metal ring right here. Also on top of both the baby pin and the 2K pin is a corresponding ring that we've put on the same side of the pipe as the top. That's where you're gonna join ratchet straps. There's a bit of a debate going on whether you use one strap or two straps for a menace arm. Um, I'm gonna try and show it both ways. First off, we're doing the one strap method. Hook it in here to the back side. Make sure there are no twists. So now I'm gonna run this through the center ring. So you can see as I put tension on the strap, you can see the bow, they're starting to bow the, the, the pipe. Let's look at how you'd rig it up with two straps. So this one's gonna be one strap that goes to this end and one strap to the other end. I'm gonna join mine right here in the middle. The pipe is bowing, but we have two straps going between them. This is the one we're gonna go ahead and rig up today. Make some loops and clean up. We've got our two straps together. And we've got the menace arm and the coupler for the four foot piece. So the short end's gonna reach backward and act as a counterweight. Let's put it up on the combo stand. Wanna put one leg towards the weight. So wherever the arm's gonna reach out, probably the most important part of the whole thing. We wanna keep the knuckle for our head turning towards it so that if it falls and with the weight, it's going to tighten. So I'm gonna put it in on the center of the post. We want to be a little high up, right, and tighten it down. We'll definitely need a couple of sandbags. And now we should be good in here to release. And we're reaching out behind our subject where we're gonna mount our backlight and spill in on him. I've seen it done where you hang sandbags from the back end, but we are gonna take a strap and strap to the bottom of the combo stand to create the counterbalance for when we put the weight on. So we're hooked in here for our ratchet strap and now we're gonna lift up the arm to be the height we want the instrument to be. We'll clip into the bottom of the combo stand here, and then take my strap, run it through. I've got tension against the back end and I believe we're ready to go ahead and put the instrument in. So I'm gonna put one of the, S, the Sky Panel S30 in as our backlight. So I'm gonna take the S30 and put it into the 2K pin. Got a safety chain here. So now we've got the reach we need to get our light in the position we need. So now all I need to do is focus it and run the header cable. Took some trick line, we've suspended our ballast here and we've got power up to our backlight. So now I'm gonna do just a little tweaking because I want the light a bit higher up. I'm gonna use our ratchet to angle up, to tilt up the menace arm just a little bit more. Just take our ratchet strap and ratchet up. We've got the light up higher where I believe it's gonna be out of our wide shots and let's take a look at how the shot looks of James. So looking back at our shot of James here, you can see there's just a little bit of a kiss of blue coming from uh, on his hair light now, which kind of gives him a little bit more pop and matches the door. We got the menace arm into a position where we can do a wide shot and you don't have to have a stand behind it. Let's talk about breaking it down safely and getting it back out and packed out. A Hamilton is up here on a ladder taking the weight of the instrument. I'm going to break the knuckles here on the second riser and lower this down. Here we go, breaking. And there we go. All right, one more time, breaking. And locking. Now we can just break it down, take it off. We're all set to pack out, wrap out, and break everything back down. 
All right, and that's an overview of a menace arm. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I definitely, there are many different ways to do things like this. I always caution you to think ahead and go slow, be safe. It's everybody's responsibility to be safe. Thanks for watching and subscribe. See you soon.